Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My son, we are going to practice now problems related to a force between parallel currents. Uh, now, the, the, the problem here says a wire with a weight per unit length of 0.08 newton per meter is suspended directly above a second parallel wire. So we have two wires now. Huh? So let me draw these wires. We have a wire here and a wire here on top of each other. I'm going to call this wire number one and this wire number two. Okay? And the top wire carry a current of 30 ampere. It doesn't say in which direction, but let's take this direction here, okay? I1, 30 ampere. And the bottom uh, wire carry a current of 60 ampere. So I2, I2 is 60 ampere, but I'm not going to draw its uh, direction so now, okay? Uh, the, the, the first wire has a, has a weight, has a, a, ma a weight per unit length of, so it has a weight, okay? Like this, mg. Yeah, this, this is the force, mg, okay? mg is the force between uh, the, the, the weight of this wire number two. Number one, it is given, so mg over L is given by 0 0.08 in Newton per meter, okay? That's the, that's the weight per unit length. Because these wires are very long, we don't, we don't know though its weight. Maybe it's, it's very, very long. So we, we, we give, we want, we, we give the weight, the weight per, per meter, okay? 0 0.08. For every meter, the weight is 0 0.08 Newton. For every meter of this wire, number one, okay? Now, uh, now uh, this wire here is going to be held. Huh? Held in place. Which be, it, it will be in equilibrium. So to have a, a wire in equilibrium, there will be another force upward here. And that force up, upward should be equal to the, the, to the weight, okay? So that these two cancel and this will be held in equilibrium. Held in place by magnetic repulsion. Now, remember this is magnetic force, okay? So if, the, if this is F, this is F12, this is the, the magnetic force, Due to, due, uh, mag uh, the force between these two wires due to the current in this wire, okay, both currents. So this force is upward, uh, uh, and since this force is upward, uh, it means this wire is moving away from this wire, so there's a repulsion. If there's a repulsion, it means the current are in opposite directions. You go and look at the, uh, the, 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 the concepts, okay? If the current are in opposite direction, so I'm going to remind you, okay? If the current are in the same direction, I1 and I2, then you have what we call attraction. If the current I1 and I2 are in opposite direction, you have what we call repulsion. Here we have repulsion, so the current I2, if, the, if I choose the current I1 to the right, the current I2 will be to the left. Uh, similarly, there's a force here, of course, but I don't care about it. There's a force here, F21. So, but I don't care about it now, okay? I don't care about it. So that's the force F12. Uh, its, its direction is like this, and it has a magnitude. So F12, per unit length, is mu0 I1 I2 over uh, 2 pi D, okay? 2 pi uh, D, okay? 2 pi D, the distance between the two wires, okay? 2 pi D. D is the distance between the two wires, okay? That's the, that's, the, if you don't remember this formula here, go and look at the videos when we did the concepts regarding this point here, okay? Now, so, uh, in order for this wire to be in equilibrium, the two forces have to be equal. So, yeah, a mu zero, I1, I2 over 2 pi d should be equal to, uh, uh, and uh, uh, 2 pi d should be equal to mg over L, okay? mg, uh, mg, that's the force, that's the force per unit length, okay? Because here, actually F12 is a mu zero I1, I2 over 2 pi d times L, okay? So uh, if you if you if you divide by if you divide by uh, here L you have to divide also here by L okay so this is F12 over L equal the weight over L okay the weight over L okay the L will cancel of course huh? the L will cancel bo from both sides uh, and then you end up with uh, with the over L here okay okay so you end up with uh, with uh, with this equation here now. 
so this will be Newton per meter, and this will be Newton per meter, okay? Now, uh, uh, he's asking about the separation D. So D will be a mu zero, I1, I2, mg over L, uh, divided by 2 pi, okay? D will be, let's, let me write down D again. D will be a mu zero, I1, I2, over 2 pi, okay, uh, over mg over L, divide by 1 over mg over L, okay? And mg over L is given to you, okay? mg over L is given to you. It's 0.08. It's 0 0.08 Newton per meter, okay? So this is how you would solve a problem like this, okay? So now let's put the numbers now. Mu zero is 4 pi and to power minus 7, okay? I1 is given to you, I1, one of the current is 30, the other one is 60, so you have to write here 30 times 60 over 2 pi times 0 0.08, okay, 0 0.08, mg over L, okay, so if you do the, of course the pi will cancel from here, and this will be, there will be a 2 here, which, which this 4 and this 2 will end up with 2 here. So if you do the calculation correctly, you get 4.5 10 to the power minus 3 meters, okay? You get, the answer is 4.3, 10 to 4.5 10 to the power minus 3 meters. 4.5, 4, sorry, 4.5 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Or you can write it 4.5 millimeter, okay? Millimeter. That's the answer here, okay? Uh, again, I'm going to repeat again, to keep this wire in equilibrium, suspended in equilibrium, in, equilibrium in place, uh, there should be two forces. The first force will be the weight, and the second force will be the repulsion force between the two wires. If there's a repulsion, because if the current are in the same direction, this force will be downward and there will be ne never equilibrium. The two forces will be down, so the, the, this, uh, this wire will move down, okay? If I want to keep it suspended here, I have to have this force upward. And to have this force upward, the two currents should be in opposite directions. There will be repulsion, as we said here, okay? There will be repulsion. Otherwise, there will be attraction, okay? If the, so the two currents are in opposite directions, and you equate the two forces, the, the, this force and this force, you equate them, this is F over L, and this is MG over L, okay? And you do the calculation to find the distance D between the two wires. It's, it's 4.5 millimeter. Thank you. Okay, my son, this is the second example related to force between parallel currents. Now we have three wires, not two, like in the previous example, now we have three wires. We have this wire here, I1, carrying a current I1. This is the cross section, by the way. The wires are in this direction, like this, coming out of the board. This is cross, it's called the cross section. So this current is out of the board. This current is also out of the board. And I don't know the current here. It's magnitude and also its direction, okay? Of course, current is a scalar. When I say direction, it doesn't mean it's a vector. No, it's, a, it's either inside or outside the current moving, okay? So the figure shows three long parallel current wire, carrying wire. They are long, uh, carrying uh, equal currents. This is important here. Currents of equal magnitude, okay? The direction of the current I1 and R3 out of the, out of the page, here it's clear, you can see them. The arrow F here represent the magnitude, per, uh, the magnetic force per unit length acting on current, on the current I3. This current I3, actually there are two forces acting on this current, on this wire. Two forces, one due to this current, and the other one due to this current I2, okay? And uh, the, that, that force is given by this vector here, okay? You can see it. It has, a, it has an I component. So this is, a, if you write here I and J, this is I, unit vector, and J. It has a component which is negative along the I, and negative along the J, it's clear, you can see them here, eh? Newton per meter, force, this is the force per unit length, it's F over, F over L, okay? Actually, this is F over L. What are the magnitude and direction of the current I2? You want the magnitude and direction. Remember that this equal, they are, they, the current are equal in magnitude, eh? And so I want to find that current. Now, let me draw the figure here quickly for this uh, configuration here. And the distance here is D and this is D, okay? So this is like, 
Okay? So I have a current here, I3. I have a current here, I1. And I have a current here, I2. I don't know its direction and magnitude, but the, the currents are the same. Eh? This is D and this is D. Same distance. And the force here it is in this direction, the force. So, actually, there's a force here. Attraction. The current in the same direction. This is F31. This is one number three, yeah? And this one, F31. And that's the component, okay? And the other one will be like this. The other force. Between these two and these two wires, yeah? Between the I2 and I3, it will be like this. And I call it F32. Now, do we have here? Here we have attraction, it's clear. The current and in the same direction, they attract. Here we have a repulsion. To have this F net, to have this F net like this, I must have these two forces in these directions. Okay? So that this is the resultant. You can see it. That's the resultant. F net here is the resultant of these two forces. This one is due to these two currents, and this one is due to these two currents. Now, since we have here a repulsion between these two and these two, the current I2 should be in. And this is out, and this is in. So that should be in the opposite direction. So that the F32 will be in this direction to have F net in this direction here, okay? Very important point. So the, 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 now, what are the direction of I2? We already know now the direction of I2. It will be inside. So I2, you can write here, I2 is inside the board, eh? inside the board or the page or whatever you want to call this, okay? The page, okay? Now, that F net is given to you, right? F net, okay, over L. It's given to you, it's what? It's point two. 2i with a minus sign minus point two two j in newton over meter okay but so this component is actually this force here this component is actually this force so uh, f let's write down f31 for example let's write down this this magnitude of this the magnitude of f31 f31 is a vector its magnitude is what is mu zero i1 i3 over two pi d D, the distance between the wires, okay? But since the currents are the same, in, in, uh, the, they have the equal, equal magnitudes, I'm going to call this I squared, okay? They are the same. I1 equal I2 equal I3. They are equal in magnitude, the currents. They are not, this direction is out, this is out, and this is in, okay? So this is 4 pi and to power minus 7 times I squared, okay? I squared, I go, I'm going to call this I, Okay, I squared over 2 pi d, the distance between the wires. The distance is 1 millimeter, so this will be 10 to the power point, I can write this as point zero zero 0.001. That's 1 millimeter in meters, okay? And this magnitude is actually this value here, point 0.22. Yes, that's point 0.22. Yes, this F31, that's, that's that the magnitude here is this formula here, okay? So from here, it's clear you can find the current I. Eh? I will be square root of what? Point 0.22, okay? Times 2 pi. Uh, uh, let me get rid of this 2 here. Let me get rid of the pi and so on. So it will be times uh, point zero zero 0.001 divided by 2 and the power minus 7. Square root of that, huh? So, yeah. I'm doing that. Uh, if you do the uh, cal calculation correctly, you should get 33.2 ampere. That's the current, the magnitude of the current in all three wires. Okay, all of them they have the same uh, the same uh, current in magnitude, but this current is out. This is out, and this is, should be in to have this force repulsion here to have the net force in this direction to have the net force in this direction there should be attraction here and the repulsion here so the current here is out same direction the current here should be in opposite direction to this current here so this is how you we did not use the, the, this equation here the, this component but this answer will be the same exactly the same here it will be i uh, 2 i 3 if you use this component here it will be i 2 i 3 because I'm using this 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 one here is this and this one here is this force here okay that's how you would solve a problem related to a uh, parallel wire. Now, my son, I gave you two examples. Now you go and practice more uh, from 
your textbook or from old exams. Thank you.